Welcome to uh, Daily Devotions. <coughs> I'm your host today, Pastor Jesse. <coughs> Gonna lean back a little bit. Um, I, <coughs> if you can't tell, I'm coughing a lot, but I'm I'm getting a lot better. Um, Today was the first day I was kind of out and about, so that felt really good. Today, this morning, we're going to be in James chapter 3. I'm going to keep this super brief because <coughs> otherwise you're going to be listening to me cough the entire time. So hopefully <coughs> you have your Bible with you and uh, you can open it up. <coughs> Um, there's really, like, <clears throat> only one thing that I want to point out, um, and that's this, verse 14, but if you have any bitter envy and selfish ambition in your heart, don't boast and deny the truth. If you have bitter envy or selfish ambition in your heart, do not boast and deny the truth. So, the question then he he's actually in the midst earlier he, he was in the midst of, of talking about the importance of taming the tongue and he starts using this analogy kind of later about <coughs> you know can a fig tree produce an olive well no it can't <coughs> and one of the things that jesus uses um is the out of the uh, uh, overflow of the heart the mouth speaks so the fruit that comes out of our lives uh, we see how that is actually like the a part of like telling the world what kind of tree we are and so uh, <clears throat> when you are a selfish tree uh, the fruit that comes out is going to be selfish if you are a <clears throat> bitter tree you better believe that the fruit that's coming from your life is also going to be bitter. And so the, the biggest question is not, um, I don't know, I mean, there's there's a couple ways you could look at this, right? Like if, if I sit here and I self-examine myself and I, I can think, you know what, you know, I'm not as, I'm not as bitter as my dad. Um, I'm in a way, I'm, I'm way more chill than that or like maybe I'm not as selfish as my brother and so therefore I have nothing to worry about this isn't talking about me at all it could still be talking about you just because like when when this is comparing that it's it's basically any sin compared against Jesus <clears throat> so Jesus isn't going to like stand you up. You're this little guy. He's not going to stand you up and be like, well, well, you know, <clears throat> you're not as tall as this lady, even though she's clearly way taller <laughs> than you. Um, you're, you're too different. Like he's not doing that. Like he's not comparing you know each one of these little people to to each other like this way he he always compares it to jesus um we'll pretend this is baby jesus so like like in the end if our lives don't look like jesus like there's something we need to repent of and so the question that we have to we be willing to weigh is lord <laughs> is there selfish ambition in my heart lord is there any envy or bitterness or bitter envy in my heart if so we repent of those things now in jesus name and we hand those over to jesus and <clears throat> i want to close with this thought but wisdom from above is first pure then peace loving gentle, compliant, full of mercy and good fruits, unwavering, without pretense. The fruit of righteousness 
is sown in peace by those who cultivate peace. Let's be the kind of people that are willing to take these little nuggets of peace. I pretend it's a nugget of peace. And we're gonna we're gonna sow it into the ground. We're gonna pray that the Lord is actually going to bring us a, a, a harvest of peace because we're sowing peace. We're not sowing discord. We're not fighting with people. We're not <coughs> slandering or calling names. We're, you know, we're laying down our pride. We're laying down our, our ambitions. You know, we're laying down our jealousies. Uh, we're laying down, I don't know, whatever. What do you need to lay down? We're going to bury it. <clears throat> we're gonna cover it up we're gonna see a harvest of peace all right this that's i think that's about all i can do today uh thank you so much for joining <coughs> today's daily devotions if you haven't done so already please go ahead and hit the subscribe button that would help us as we are trying to grow as many mature disciples as we can people who love the lord by loving the word of god on a daily basis. All right. Oh yeah, click the bell. Uh, and then there's, I don't know, other things you can do. Watch old videos where I'm not almost dead. Have a good day.